Hello, Barney Badger Army. Hey, Badger Army. Welcome to another On The Bench. And how are you guys? Hope everyone's well. Today, we're going to talk about Glastonbury Mini Fest. What else are we going to talk about, Nick? Well, today is today. It was a year ago today that the first lockdown kicked into effect. Indeed. And what else are we going to talk about? Um, I need to give a shout out to to the Phoenix FM Massive. It mm. is Phoenix FM's 14th anniversary today. Okay, let's get I was cracking. There on the launch and we'll do the rest in a bit. Right, so first things first. What do we talk about? What do we talk about? Well, so it was a year ago today that the first lockdown was announced. Mm. And it was, and well, it was pretty much unheard of at the time. That's right, for, yeah. For the entire country to be in lockdown. And many other countries That's were right. in lockdown by this point as well. But it was so, still, I mean, obviously we won't go into the whys and wherefores, but it was a very surreal experience for it us. It really was. It, it yes. really was. I remember us talking and we were like, is this real? Is this happening? And we were sitting together talking about it and we were like... It was very weird, and I think yeah. we managed to squeeze in one more video, didn't we, did we before we go? We did one video. It was uh, filmed on the last day um, before we went into lockdown. I think mm. we we got told. I think we had to go to a meeting. Mm -hmm. Then we got then we got told what was going to happen. I think then we popped over and did and did an on the bench video, and That's then it. we didn't come back here for until the end of August. A whole I think five it was around. Later. Like, yes, it was a very long time. It was very surreal as well because. You know, without going into the whys and the wherefores, at that point, we weren't doing anything as well. Nothing was planned, was it? So we were oh. literally staying at home, being safe at that point. Mm. It was very strange. But yes, that was a year ago. Isn't that bizarre? I mean, at the time, we didn't know. I mean, a few people were like, oh, well, but, you know, it'll only be for a few weeks. You yeah, know, we'll yeah, be, we'll see you we'll in a couple of weeks, normal, guys. We'll be back to normal by summer. And then, yeah, it just, it just, it just kept on coming. It just kept going and going and going. And at one point it got worse, and it got better, and then it got worse again, and then it got better again, and, and then it got even worse. And then, uh, of course, start of January, um, in, uh, in kind of like less than 48 hours, mm, we went from, mm. oh, schools are totally safe, to we're going into lockdown, guys. Exactly. So there's such a weird experience that keeps happening up and down. And, of course, now Boris has said there may be a third wave, but I doubt that they'll put us in lockdown again. I really well, do. Well, we need to be careful, because, I mean... the. I mean, uh, COVID is meant to be less severe over summer. So when the third wave strikes, I mean, we've got, we'll have slightly warmer temperatures on mm, our side, mm, as mm. well as the number of people being, vac being vaccinated. Right, yes. I'm getting but mine tomorrow. Hopefully it's, mine is going, coming next week. Excellent. Um, so it's, so ho the hope is that it's not going to be as severe, That's but right. still people need to be vigilant. That's right, vigilant you know? and careful. And the main, and on, and, at the moment, a lot of res restrictions are set to be lifted on the 12th of April. That's right. So gyms are going to open, pubs and restaurants are going to reopen. How but, is gym? Um, well, there's lots, there's lots of gyms. I'll have to go and ask them all individually. I know, yeah, good luck um, on that. There's, but the thing, the thing that we cannot do is we cannot rush out and act like the that's last it. three months <laughs> didn't happen. Yeah, because that's what happened before. Everyone was like, hey, party! And then it all went to exactly. crap again. Exactly. So that is, so, you know, so yes, we have slightly warmer temperatures on our side. Yes, we have more, a lot more people are being vaccinated, mm -hmm. but we still need to be vigilant. That's right. Yes. Be very careful. And, and I don't care how much I sound like your mum right now. <laughs> but yes, it's true. Make sure you mask up, glove up, distance up, gel up. We should Surely. point out, as always, that ma that masks are important. Badger and I are in a bubble together, which is why we can stand stand close like this. Yes, bubble bobbles. We but are. Yes, indeed, yes. So I would just say, be careful, look after yourselves, and we want the future to happen. We want all these good things to happen. Christmas, believe it or not, is coming up again. It won't even be that long before we hit Christmas and or New Year or and we have Easter to and all these different things. I know, Easter, yeah. is to, Easter is like... A week and a half away. Yeah. And then we've got the summer and all that sort of thing. So if we want these things to happen and we want them to happen in a if good, we want positive festival way. festival season to happen. That's it. Then we need to be positive. And that links into what we're going to talk about next, Nick. Yes. There is, uh, you may well have heard that there, that, uh, there, that 
planning permission has been submitted mm. for a mini festival on the Glastonbury site. Of course, mm, Glastonbury mm, mm. isn't happening in its regular no. this year. No. Um, there's, so plans are being put forward for a mini festival um, on the Glastonbury site in September. Yes. There won't be camping. Um, you'll probably and once it's uh, it's only going to go on for part of the day, not the full day. And yeah. and you know if it does happen, people are going to be asked to people are going to be asked to clear off shoe and stuff. Um, yeah. As soon as it's finished. Yes. So. But can you imagine that a load of drunken, muddy teenagers all faffing about? This is why. This is why it's. Uh, this is why it's a very nice thought, but it might be a little bit hard to implement. Yes, um, might be a bit hasty. The current plan is lots of festivals will be going ahead. They'll mm, probably mm, be doing mm. testing for people on site. That is what they mean. So, so it's very much a matter of a matter of wait and see. I mm. think lots of festivals, you know, they currently they want to act like they're going ahead, but uh, I and I hope they do. Mm. Uh, but uh, ultimately, it is still down to us all being vigilant in that's the meantime. It. That's it, yeah. So what sort of thing do you think they'll do with those festivals? Do you think they'll have live performances or will they have like a video feed or what? What do you think will happen? I reckon if they can get away with live performances, then they will. Yeah, okay. And obviously distanced and things like that. Yes. I mean, I don't know if you remember from the first lockdown where they tried to do those sort of illegal raves that had uh, boxes in where people were distanced even at the raves. Have you ever seen those? I've not seen those. Okay. No, but Basically, it was like an illegal rave. It was like an illegal rave, right? But it had. No, I'm afraid. Sorry. It was an illegal rave that basically had, um, you know, boxes for people to stand in with glass and things like that. I mean, f fair play to them for trying. Mm. And they also did that in RuPaul's Drag Race. If you watch the newer episodes, they actually had each of the um, sort of judges all glassed off and things like that. And I'm sure they did that in that terrible, uh, you know, in the terrible voice rip-off that uh, they tried to do for... What's the band with all the girls in? It's not, it's not the, the newer one. You know, that was on ITV. I think I know, know what show you mean, but I can't remember what it was called. No, me neither. But anyway, that's what I'm trying to say. Is But basically, even bad reality TV shows are being careful. And Drag Race isn't a bad reality TV show. I'm talking about the... Uh, the I'm other glad one I'm you clarified to. that, because you would get a wig thrown at you very quickly. I'm sure I would, and maybe something else. <laughs> but yes, I was just going to say that, yeah... Uh, you know, even TV shows now are being very careful. Oh, yeah. Raves are being I careful. Think, All these I different things I think even like The careful. Chase, I think the contestants are much further apart That's now right, than they yeah. were. And also, there's another thing that I watched on um, ITV where you have to go and sort of grab a ball from the ceiling. And if you and so that was very open and you had to run to collect them, you know. And it was very open-aired. Oh. Yeah, I can't remember what that was called. Anyway, I'm waffling. But yes... Any more news on festivals, Nick? Um, the current plan is uh, Latitude Festival is set to go mm. ahead at full capacity. We um, Phoenix FM normally covers Latitude. That's right. So, hof so hopefully we'll be... So Not that smelly time FM. No, they don't. <laughs> um, but, uh, ho so yes, hopefully hopefully we'll be along, be along for that. Again, it's very much a case of wait and see. A lot of festivals which would mm, happen mm, in the mm. earlier part of the year are being moved forward. There's, oh, a, yeah. there's a festival which I went to years ago up north when I was visiting my sister called Stockton Calling. Okay. Not to be confused with Stand and Calling. I was going to say, we did a vlog on which Stand is going, and Calling, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, Stand and Calling, yep. There's a travel vlog that I did on, last mm -hmm. uh, two years ago wow. on that. Two years ago? And... Uh, and, but yeah, Stockton Calling is uh, hopefully going to be happening at um, happening in September. It normally happens on Easter Saturday. Oh, okay, yeah. So we'll see what hap what happens there with that one. Um, and yeah, I think we're just all kind of having to wait and see. Lot lots of my friends have booked tickets for you know tickets for for festivals, and I hope that those go that those go ahead. Yeah. But uh, again, it's kind of all just down to us being vigilant right now. I mean, I'm actually looking forward to the cinemas opening up, but we can talk about that as a separate yes. thing. I'm really looking forward to the cinema opening up, and I'm really hoping they do an, a cinema release of Zack Snyder's Justice League, because that would be insane to go and watch at the big cinema, and the, on the big screen. It was great on the TV at home, but... 
can you imagine watching that uh, I think, on the big screen? That'd be insane. I think having really having films that have already been released and giving a whole cinema experience to it, I mm. think that would be a really good thing. That's good right, thing yeah. for for cinemas to mm. kind of like recoup some losses, recoup losses that they've Because incurred. obviously Black Widow's in cinema hell at the minute. They keep waiting and waiting and waiting. They did Dis that with that James Bond film as That's well. That's right, because Disney does not want to release it uh, on pay-per-view or the director does not want to release it on pay-per-view, I should say. And Marvel have obviously got their own ideas on that. But... That's a separate issue because as we go forward into the new phase of the films and Black Widow's dead, that's not really a spoiler because you know, that was in the Infinity Gauntlet style action with in-game and stuff she, like didn't that. Didn't she die a few times? Yes, that's, exactly. So that's what come happens. On now. It's like a Final Destination character. You just yeah, can't yeah, yeah. die enough times. Yeah, we know she's dead, so we need to just move forward on that. And the thing is, this is a prequel, so they need to squeeze it in quick before everyone goes, well, I can't really be arsed with that. So anyway, that's beside the point. What else are we talking about, Nick? What else are we talking about? Well, you wanted to give your buddies at Phoenix ever a shout out. Yes, indeed. This day in 2007, back when we were all much younger, indeed, um, yes. Phoenix FM launched in mm. Brentwood. And don't forget, you can catch me every Wednesday at 8pm of phoenixfm.com. And a big shout out to all my Phoenix FM buddies uh, over the years. Yes, indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. So yes, and don't forget, if you go to phoenixfm.com and click on the Curveballs page, that's the name of my show, yeah. then, you'll be able, then you'll be able to find the show with my interview with this guy. Exactly. I was just about to say that. We'll be able to find this one. And I'm probably be on in a few months again, but please do check out the previous one where I am interviewed about lots of different things. And that was so much fun. Thank you for having me on, Nick. Indeed. But yeah, I would definitely say that Live events, hopefully we'll start coming back. You know, we'll get some coverage and we'll get lots of different things. Cinema will come back, but we've all got to be really careful. Otherwise, it's just going to snowball again and it won't happen. Because you know what I'm looking forward to? I'm looking forward to going and having a bloody wagamummers. That's what I'm looking forward to. We're worried what you were going to say there. I know, yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm looking forward to having a wagamummers and just chilling out, watching a film, relaxing with the boss and Badger Junior, and just having some fun like that. And just, or rather, you're just looking forward to relaxing with the boss and with the boss and Badger Junior somewhere other than your house. Yes, exactly. Yeah, just somewhere a bit more interesting would be really fun, and uh, obviously to be able to let him go to the zoos, the play parks, all the big attractions that you know kids love. That a shot at the minute would be great. And also, obviously, he had to stop his swimming lessons, uh, which sucked. So, obviously, once all that starts coming back, that'd be great for him. So, fingers crossed. But, yeah, hopefully, things start turning around. And, uh, you know, I'm not that uh, worried about festivals. That's Nick's point of view. But I'm more worried about the cinema. You know, come on. I want to see a film. We want it all. We, we, do, kind of, we do kind of want it back. I mean, mm -hmm. yes, we all we all do want to have you know some kind of normality to return. Yeah, return. that's it. Yeah, but at yeah. the same time, but at the same time, we need to look at you know we, think about think think about you know as as we're here on the first anniversary of the first of that's the right, first yeah. lockdown coming of course, in, yeah. coming into effect. Mm. Think about think about how this lockdown th think about how this lockdown changed you how. What lessons you can learn from it? What you do differently now? Mm -hmm. You know, that, uh, to what you did then. Because I That's think, it, yeah. in a lot of ways, you know, it's kind of, in, you know, it's like it's all very well saying go, going back to normal, but at the same time, same time, we won't go back to things being exactly no. the same. And also, we're not exactly the same people that we were. That's right. You know? yeah. So think about, think about how the year, how the year changed you. Think about, mm -hmm. you know, is there. You know, think think of what what positive things you can glean from it as well. That's right. Very Even if good. it's not obvious now, I think there's a. I think it is something that will teach us that will teach us a lot. You know, even if it's just you know not to, not not to take thing take so many things for granted. That's a great point. I think that's what that's what we all need to look for. We need to we need to learn more about about not taking things for granted, and that I hope is the big lesson. That we that we can all learn and we can so and when we can have these things back you know that the same time we won't take them for granted like we did that's right indeed so thank you very much 
and let us know your thoughts in the comments below on today's waffle. I mean, on today's on the bench, because this has been a fun one, and we do enjoy waffling onto each other, don't we? So please do let us know your thoughts in the comments. Join in, join the community, join the Discord, join the chat, join the fun. See you next time, guys. Thank you very much for the support and love, and let us know your thoughts on what we talked about in the comments below, and anything you want to hear us talk about next time. Thanks, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Indeed. And we'll see you later. ta -ra! Bye. Bye for now. Bye for now. Mr. Slender, yes. Bring me a dream. Bum, bum, bum. Do, 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 do. That I've ever seen. Bum, 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 bum. Please, man. It's your magic dream. Mr. Slendy, bring me a dream. Bum, 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 bum.